It's a Monday morning and class is in session. However, this is not your usual class. Here, they have a goal to ensure that even those who are able differently get the training they need to be part of the growing IT sector. So when you get here at 9, 9, 9 o'clock in the morning, the students come in. I'm always here a few minutes before 9 o'clock. So they have to get their laptops from the uh, office. Then we have the routers and switches together with the cabling. So we do theory work for the first two hours until 11 o'clock. They go for tea break for half an hour from 11.30 to 1 o'clock. We now embark on practical activities. They configure our Cisco routers, they configure Cisco switches, and the devices we have here are the latest devices. So they are the same devices they'll find in the industry. David Nyamai, Jacqueline Chelagat, Daniel Otumba, and Anne Wanjiko were in this class a few months ago. Currently, they are doing their internships at Safaricom. Like the students here, they too have different conditions. However, they all have one goal, to go beyond their disabilities and chase after their dreams. Since I was small at a tender age, you know, I didn't know much, but my brother used to teach me um, IT stuff, how to use a computer, small things here and there and that's where my passion developed and you know I have a dream now to be quite an IT expert. According to their trainer Alan Onyango, the program has adequately prepared them for the industry. So they need to know the commands and they need to know how to really do the commands very well and up to now they have mastered the art. They can configure those devices, they can set them up and working. After their graduation, Safaricom took Anne, Jacqueline, David and Daniel as interns in their various departments in IT. My day-to-day -day in service desk, it's all about uh, troubleshooting and receiving calls. It's, it's a bit enjoyable. <laughs> you get to interact with many people and solve a lot of problems. Here in Safaricom, my work is mainly in the work in the Safaricom app. I look at the app, I see how are the colors, are they quite okay, what words need to be changed, and um, if the customer looks at it, how will they be able to experience the app as a whole? At the IT service desk, I do the mailing box provisioning. We call customers, our users, because we deal with internal users, so we use uh, app which is uh, WD to, to communicate with our users or we can communicate through mailing box. The experience you get there, you have to do a lot of research and uh, it expands your brain because uh, in each and every day you get to learn something. And then, and then uh, we also do deployment of uh, firewalls. So we go out there, we get to interact with the customers, you get to learn new things out there from those from employees out there. So the interaction part of it has also been very, very good. Most of the fears I had was about um, commuting and uh, that that safari made it not a fear to me because they offered free transport for me every day and back to home. Now, after coming here, I can go anywhere on my own because it's, it's friendly, they thrum everywhere. Millicent Otto manages the Nita Nairobi office. She says now more than ever, people living with disabilities have avenues to train and get opportunities in the market. The first cohort taking the internship at Safaricom are a testament that they are able to work like everybody else given the opportunity. So once you equip them and make them comfortable, your place is accessible, uh, inclusion is happening and people understand their needs, they'll settle in and deliver on the work and their productivity has been tested by Safaricom. I believe the lot on internship are doing very well and they're able to now show whatever they're able to, to do. So we tell the private sector employers to kindly open your doors and take these skills that uh, may be driving your business. However, there have been a few challenges. 
they are suffer from a condition called lumbago. So lumbago is a, a condition where you are having a problem with your backbone. There are some things that are, I might need assistance, assistance doing or I might need attention doing. But when you re request for such, for such an attention or an, an assistance, somebody might be reluctant to give it to you because they, they, don't, they don't understand. You know, IT has its own unique language. Sometimes words could be quite hard. And, you know, I, I use Google sometimes to say, what does that word mean? Or I ask my teammates to assist me, and that's when I get to learn. However, with the support from their teams, the interns have been able to thrive at their workplace. When I joined uh, Safaricom, I got a very, a very good team. I can say they are the best team here in Safaricom. Uh, the team of managed security services. I work in cyber security and the department of managed security services. One, my, my teammates, and I also enjoy working with my boss because most of the time he teaches me the things that I really don't know or I don't remember. So I enjoy my teammates because they are quite open-minded. I teach them same language and they learn a lot. Yeah, and we also have, you know, social meetings where we go in for lunch and enjoy each other's company. The best thing ever for any teacher is when you can see the product of your hands transition. If you compare that with the very first day you met them, when they knew completely nothing, the last day when you're very proud and I see them and they call me and they tell me, you made us proud. You made us to have this. We can't imagine where we are now. The journey has only begun for them. And while many of them hope to secure a position at Safaricom, they also hope to encourage more people living with disabilities to take a chance on themselves and take the available opportunities to grow. If you see somebody with a disability, you should empathize, you should empathize with the person, not sympathize. And I would love to encourage people with disability to take steps and study, know their hobbies and know what they are able to do. I believe we are all able differently. Deaf people would tend to think that IT is hard, but it is not. Never give up. Always try and believe on yourself. Never look down on yourself. Always accept what, are, what the disability you have and be strong. So this is a call to the private sector to follow the lead because Safaricom has done the torch bearing. They have done the pay setting and taken these people. So other employers in the private sector because they are the bulk of the employers. We need now you to come on board and partner with the training institution to absorb these skills and give the people with disability who have trained a chance to get into the world of work.